Buddy Stargate here. Today I'm gonna uh, help you put deep links in your Android uh, game. So I'm using the Unity game engine to demonstrate deep links. Uh, deep links are basically a way for your user to uh, click on a link like in a normal web page and be able to um, navigate to a page of your app. Uh, for example, let's say this is my app and it's like a standard sign in sign up form and I want the user to after clicking this link I want them to be able to jump directly to the app so that's one use case for a deep link uh, perhaps you need to do some authentication on the web server and uh, that would return a link for you to return back to you know the place you were in the app <clears throat> okay so my unity my solution um, is uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it matters but I'm using version 2020.1.6 and what you want to do to enable deep links is you have to modify your Android manifest file and that's basically contains some of the um, setup logic uh, anywho what you want to do is go to the a place where you installed unity and go to the folder playback engines android player apk and finally you'll see a file called unity manifest.xml um, or Android Manifest.xml. If you open this, you'll see that it contains like uh, standard like Android app stuff. Um, I'm not really sure what everything means, but it has to do with like permissions and maybe like the theme or whether you're able to browse. Anyway, the point is we have to modify this file in order to make it compatible with deep links. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to copy this. You're going to copy this file. Um, let me copy it. Okay, you copy it from the installation folder. You don't want to modify it here because that would apply to all your Unity projects henceforth. And then you're going to go to your your specific project that you want to enable deep links for, and go inside the assets folder. And if you don't have a plugins folder already, you want to create one. Plugins, and within this, you're going to create a folder called Android. And inside this, you're going to paste the file that you copied from the unity install folder and you're going to rename it android manifest now you open that and we're going to make some modifications here <clears throat> so um, to find what you need to modify go to this link uh, from the unity documentation they tell you I mean, what they don't provide you like. I wish they were more specific about the steps involved, which is why I'm making this video. But they do provide the code, what you should add um, to this Android manifest. So basically, we're going to add the stuff that's not in already in this manifest, and that would be this intent filter right here. So we're going to add that right below the first intent filter make sure it's properly formatted and if we take a quick look at it you'll see it contains browsable which means we can open the links from a web browser and direct to our app and also the scheme so unity dl is what the link is going to start with and it's going to be followed by colon slash slash 
my link and that would look like this so in your web server or your local web server you want to create an HTML file that contains this code and the link the deep link is going to be formatted like this okay um, sorry for the interruption I think I had to clear up some file space anyway uh, what I was saying was that um, we need to create a link of this format so it needs to start with unity DL followed by my link because that's what we specified in our manifest file right here and I'm you could probably change this um, to whatever you like as long as um, you have the same URL format on your web server so you need to create this HTML file and host it uh, for testing purposes I'm doing this from my local web server that would be uh, the computer I'm screen filming this from right now so I that local address will look like this 127.0.0.1 followed by the port number and you can see my deep links here um, have start with unity dl colon my link and then the query parameter is the name of the scene that you want to open to okay so all right let's test this on my phone oh uh, one more thing actually when we go ahead and build this project on unity so to do that to build a project you go to file build settings then you do this so make sure that if you go to player settings you want to make sure under publishing settings that you check custom main manifest here and once you do that it will show you the path to the manifest file that you've created and it's going to use this when building your app. Okay, I'm going to show you the finished, um, the built app right now on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to open the app called Egghead Dash, and you should see the same screen that I showed you on the desktop. All right, so now we're going to open a web browser. I have Chrome installed on here. And you can see the same website that I showed you on the desktop. And instead of 127.0.1, I included the device IP address because the other one um, is uh, pointing back to the same device you're using and in this case I'm using a different device so that's why we're using the specific IP address alright so this link right here is unity DL my link question mark it and if I click this it's gonna go back to my app now I'm not sure it's working a hundred percent because this is not the market scene but I mean I'm glad I got it this far and yeah if I, I, I think it's pretty easy to find the specific scene uh, okay hope that helps and if you have any more questions let me know in the comments alright thanks bye